good evening. Welcome to Retro Gamers Half Time. We're back again for episode two with me, Michael Langerbeer. And me, Fox Longer. That's right, we're on this game on the Mega Drive. That's right, it's a new game for the Mega Drive. For the Mega Drive. This was released in February 2017. You can't say that, can you? That's cutting edge. Yeah. That's cutting edge. 16 bit blast processing in February 2017. This is craziness. And we time warped into another dimension where the Mega Drive is still the king of the consoles? Yeah. Was it ever not? Has it ever ever stopped? Has it ever been defrowned? We don't think so. Defiled maybe. Defrowned not. Definitely defiled. <laughs> <laughs> right, so basically what we have here, we have a game, as Michael said there, came out in February of 2017 after a successful Kickstarter campaign which launched on November the 4th of 2016. Wow. By the time uh, the Kickstarter ended, it was looking for $10,000 worth of funding. It actually reached over $15,000. That's funding. good. Yeah. That's good. Put a little bit extra in there. Absolutely. Mm. So we've got a game by Mega Cat Studios, relatively unknown on the independent Mega Drive scene. Uh, certainly the first time we'd heard of them, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but we felt the need to have to back this game, and back it we did. That's right. Let's not waste time. Let's play this game, shall we? Excellent. Okay. What, okay. what we have here is um, the ability to choose one of two players, male and female, Ashley and Nick. Yeah. Any background story with, uh, with these characters? Why? No, no background. No background? No, I'm joking. Of course I'm not joking. Right, okay. Right. Um, what one was it? Mega Cat Studios, the owner of Mega Cat Studios, right? Right. Okay. He met up with the Black Forge Coffee House owners, which are called Nick and Ashley. Okay. Um, Nick, I'm guessing that one. Ashley, this one, I'm guessing. So I guess. A good assumption, certainly. Yeah. Um, basically, they have like a, this massive, um, this massive like for retro games and retro consoles. So decided to make a game and. Nonetheless, on the Mega Drive, which is is amazing because you, you just you don't get many Mega Drive games anymore. Right, so these guys are American, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, so this well, yes, was Genesis, I should say, really. So this would explain why there's a red version of this game. Yeah. Um, and we've got the blue version here because we're Europeans. Um, we also have a nice striking see-through blue cartridge, whereas the North Americans got a nice see-through red cartridge with theirs. I actually feel theirs is a little more attractive, to be honest. Really? This is a little bit like the ugly sister. You're going to take her on anyway, but you really want the redhead. Well, you're used to the black for Mega Drive games anyway, so blue doesn't really stand out. A red one would, wouldn't it? Definitely. I think it would feel nice with these red buttons as well on the Mega Drive 2. Oh, a little cow pat. Mm. Yeah, little cow pats. But then we have got a blue button on our Mega Drive 6 button controller, <laughs> so we have got colour coordination somewhere along the lines somewhere. here, people. So don't you worry about it, okay? Mm. <laughs> um, basically, uh, uh, Mega Cat Studios, they have the uh, facility to make this game, um, all Black Forge um, coffee beans, <laughs> did, was uh, thinking of the storyline. So they thought of this storyline, right? Um, I don't know who that geezer is. Uh, basically, aliens taking over. Okay. They're, are they looking for? All oh, right, they've they've all, they're making right. their home in on the Black Forge coffee house. Yeah, they? they want the coffee. Right. right. Okay. Oh, the graphics are nice. And they haven't got their loyalty cards, right. so um, let's go and beat them up for some beans. Finish them. Very Mortal Kombat. Oh, this this plays very much like to me. Um, not the obvious choice being Streets of Rage and Final Fight, but this plays very much like sort of the Marvel beat em ups around the time that came out. The coin operative beat em ups. Uh, Punisher, Spider-Man Spider Separation Anxiety, um, you know, Golden Axe? Yeah, Golden Axe as well, I forget yeah. Golden Axe. Yeah, oh, very that's, much like that. That's that, that's that, right? Oh, think, what's this? I think it probably does it a disservice, say Golden Axe, because Golden Axe is a very early game for Mega Drive. This is actually very impressive. Well, you could be a level already. Yeah. Start a level. Nice and simple, yeah. okay. Not tough enough this time, punk. Oh, eh? There's no need for that, was there? Pass off a new level. Two Oh wow, what a nice little mini game. Yeah. Cool, you were going to be off your tits, boy. Off your tits, this. Keep your caffeine high. Oh, right, you've got to keep it in the green area. Yeah, right. I'm um, looking at the time, we've got eight seconds left. Oh, Crikey, come on, you can do it, you can do it. Oh, look at that, he's tapering it down. Taper it down into the green zone. Can he do it? He is a professional agent. Oh. How does she get to 54? She's a professional. You're not. Nick. Alright. Um, right, there was actually another version of. I'm sorry, are you alright? Yeah. You okay? I didn't meet. What's up with that one? 
cut that out later. Alright, I didn't mean to be mean to him. Alright, 213 backers of this game. Big old game, yeah. 213 backers, ladies and gentlemen. There was also a version that was available for those that were funding the Nint uh, Nintendo Age um, server fund. And that was on a clear cartridge. So there is a clear cartridge version out there for the lucky 40 people to back that. Uh, I haven't seen a clear cartridge version, to be honest. And the only ones that are available from Mad, uh, Mad Cat Studios' website are the blue PAL version and the red NTSC Genesis version. So you've got to be aware of that. Now, uh, I paid $55 for this complete in the box. Um, you can get it on megacatstudios.com. It is currently $39.99 for just the cartridge, or $49.99 for complete in the box with a nice coloured manual as well. So it fits in very nicely with your collection of Genesis or Mega Drive games, depending on what region you're in. Both region versions are available still, so you can pick and choose what you want. That's pretty cool. What's going on there? I don't know, I saw a trash can, so I thought I'll knock it down, like Streets of Rage, and yeah. There we go, rather than get a chicken out of it, you've got a uh, guitar yeah, yeah. solo. Right, so aliens come down to Earth. They've also taken over humans as well, so you have to beat some of the humans up. Right, okay, that's pretty cool. Where's he off to? I don't know. I, I like how detailed the graphics are in this. Very impressive, yeah, I like sort of the sway from his uh, apron there. Oh, is this a bag of coffee beans? Is That's the coffee beans, yeah. He's having the black Finish coffee. Up. Right, it's a bit like uh, Alien, oh, isn't it? Alien Storm. That's what it reminds me of. Very oh, much. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it takes his influence from many other 16-bit ballers at the time. Uh, thankfully, it doesn't take too much inspiration from digital stinkers like Batman Forever. Uh, Rage. I don't know what that did, but... Yeah. Proceed. It's quite polite, isn't it? Proceed. Finish them. Get the open. What does it involve people? Are they susceptible to alien attacks? Is that what it is? Mag uh, Mega Cat Studios are also going to be releasing other games in the very near future, not just for the Genesis, but also for the Nintendo Entertainment System as well. I think they might have Game Boy that stuff in the pipeline also. So it's worth subscribing to the on their website so you can keep up with future projects that they're going to be doing. Subsequently, we're going to be covering those as well in future episodes of Retro Gamers Half Time. Uh, yes, only episode 2 anyway, we've covered Duck 1.5 on the Dreamcast beforehand, and actually covering a Mega Drive this time. Now, I think a lot of our episodes will be based around the Dreamcast and Mega Drive, because those have quite an active scene when it comes to new releases, and plus we are massive fanboys of Sega systems anyway. So, it, go it, it makes sense, it's logical. Is this quite a hard game? Um, a little bit. If you if you don't get the angle right, then um, you get beat up. Right. Okay. Is this level two? Oh is, yeah. Is he? Oh, I feel sorry for him now. He's only coming down for a little bit of fun, and he messed him up. He's trying to kill me. Wow. Well, he was confused. Is what he was. He was confused. So, yeah. got to take that into account. Take him up. Oh, cow go. I like the way she's sort of moving in there. Right. Can't see to Getting down now. If you are humanity's last bastion of hope, I feel very sorry for humanity, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry. I'm just You're making sorry. it's observational comedy, okay? I'm just I like you really. You go real far back, your friends here. Don't you know? <laughs> Notice, don't cheap it. <laughs> well, I'm really enjoying this. You are, yeah. Yeah. I feel we're going to have to get to a point where we're going to have to do a review on it, though. Yeah, no, definitely. Mm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write on my page our signature thing we do, an M and an F. Do we do that for the other episode? Yeah. Oh. We do it for this as well. So more people get shot to by the retro gamers as well, do the same thing, spin the same tricks, if you will, later. Too many. So get the old people first. Is it the same show? No, not really. Right, they're gone. Okay. Is that is that Paul? <laughs> Google it, ladies and gentlemen. Sound peg, make fun. And um it's still gonna go. Jake Franco. What was it? No, Seth, Seth Rogan. Seth Rogan. Sorry, I get all their stones confused. Um, no, they're funny. Yeah, remember that time they got stones? Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. 
Right. Do you want to do a review on this? Yes. <laughs> okay, so we complete another level here. Cool. That was, that was yeah. good. I like that. Right. So you quite enjoyed what you were playing about. Yeah, I really um, liked it. Does it sort of hark back to the days of 16-bit, you know, like the the glory days? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Um, I mean, it's been a while since I've played a Mega Drive game that I haven't played before, like back in the day, so that, that was that was amazing to actually play like a new game was on, it kind of on a, console. Did you get a bit of a buzz from playing like 2017 software on the humble 16-bit yeah. Mega Drive? You really did. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah. Really I don't cool. think I don't think you really ever get over that sort of <laughs> initial buzz of playing something new. Mm. Like you said there, something you've never played back in the nineties. Something new today. Yeah. It's incredible. It's an incredible really feeling is. on a cartridge, stock hardware, without having to emulate anything. Yeah. It was pretty cool. You've got that little uh, metal music going on when you pick something up. That's um, cool. using coffee beans as a weapon. It's pretty funny. It's love it. Absolutely love it. Let's right. do it really. Graphically. Graphically. Yeah, it's amazing. How you feel? 16 bit. 10. 10 is it? Yeah, yeah. Right, okay. Uh, I'm going to give this... I'm going to give this a 9 because I think it sits very nicely in the catalogue of games that released on Genesis and Mega Drive back in the day. I like this. This is all intentionally yeah. retro drawn. Yeah. Um, uh, two crude dudes comes to mind. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Two crude dudes. Is where I'm getting with that, and I, I, I enjoy that. I appreciate this. Definitely. Yeah. It's not trying to be pseudo realistic like Streets of Rage was back in the day, but the cartoon games like Two Crude Dudes and the Marvel games that came out, it's sitting very well with that with me. Mm -hmm. um, music. Music. Yeah. Music's all right. A little bit of uh, metal music going on. Okay. I'll give it a nine. A nine. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to give it an eight. Um, do you like this game? Yeah, well, yeah, I do, yeah. I'm, I think I've been giving quite handsome reviews so far, actually, but... Yeah. Okay, gameplay. Gameplay. Uh, yeah, I absolutely loved it. I can, I can keep on going, so I'm going to give it a 10. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, Gameplay-wise, from what I saw, it seemed maybe it might be a little hard for me, so I might get a little frustrated. Mm. So I'm going to give it an 8. Right. Um, I mean, is that... Have we got any, anything else to take into account there? Controls. Controls. How did you find it? Because I can't score it, this. It was okay. Um, he moves a little bit fast. Um, I did notice that, yeah. If you're using the punch weapon, you can't move. Right. So you've got to wait for him to stop punching, then you can move. So when you're getting hit, it's a little bit difficult. Right. So I'm going to go down an 8 on this one. Okay, an 8. Uh, I'm going to give that a non-scorer because, um, naturally, I didn't do the playthrough and I haven't actually done any practice on this game. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know. Um, so overall, you're at a 9. Uh -huh. Nine, nine and a half. Uh, nine more eight. Yeah. So uh, that's actually a very well scored game. So that's um, favourable reviews from us. Yeah, yeah. And um, like I said, you can get this game still on MakerCatStudios.com. I'd strongly recommend. Fifty-five dollars though. Is that worth it? Well, what's that equate to? What thirty, thirty-two, thirty-three quid? Yeah. Definitely worth it. I think. Yeah. yeah for a new sixteen-bit cartridge. That's yeah. Getting there quick. I mean, this is brand new. You get, you get the hardback. You know, as I said, the, the blue cartridge. Yeah. The manual inside. Yeah, that's it. I mean, that's you know, it's just for a minute. That's quite a fat manual. You don't get that in games today. You don't get manuals with games. No, and no, if you look very closely in the back of the booklet, you're going to see my name. <laughs> <laughs> that was waiting for. That was waiting for. Oh, you're not showing them, right? Okay. <laughs> Close up. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, it's bring back the old uh, ones both. Yeah. Yeah, with the release. The hangar. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. 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 Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Right, okay. So I think that sums up episode two of Retro Games Half Time. Yep. I think that's encompassed all the invention we had. Mm -hmm. And um, we strongly recommend this game. So um, I guess there's nothing more to it. No. No. Buy the game, play the game. See you next time. See you on the next level. <laughs>